What's up you guys, Shark Miss Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Card Spider-Man 2099 Vintage Collection figure. If you're to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, ask you to please hit that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, and uh, I can't say this is a much-needed repeat paint i've had the original one for a while but i am curious about this and i do like the added interchangeable hands nice image of spider-man 2099 over there and then on the back you can see this whole toy biz retro look right over here with the swapping of the hands and then there's a read up over here if i read it go ahead and pause it right now and they got the name right on the back of the packaging all right nothing on this side not much more than the top or the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> So we at least get different hands with this figure. The hands that we saw with the previous version, we do not see with this one at all. So we get the fisted hands, we get the wall crawling hands, and then we get the talon slashing hands, which are from the more contemporary 2099 suit. And if you want to see a comparison with the other claws or hands, which I tried to remove, but yeah, uh, this did not want to come off. So unfortunately, if you want to swap the hands, you may have to do something more than just yank them off. I didn't try heating it up first or anything, but I don't want to ruin this because I still really like this version version but yeah just very quickly you can see a difference right there in the color of the two figures now i went back and checked way back with my review on this figure it did have paint chipping i mentioned that then with this one they changed the hinge to red plastic so you don't get any paint chipping on the back of the hand so that's cool that they did something different but if you bend the hand all the way back you're going to get that weird line going right there so you wouldn't see any paint chipping if you bend the hand all the way back and you're not in you know that looks pretty good when you bend it all the way down so i don't know what do you think is better leave this blue and paint this over and just deal with the paint chipping or do you think it's better having this red <laughs> So here's looking at the head sculpt, and it's the same head sculpt that we saw before. I think the paint applications look fairly clean, though, so can't really complain about that. There is some weird stuff going on with the plastic on the back of the head, though, so you can see some swirling. And there is a subtle dark blue shimmer to this plastic. It's definitely not nearly as metallic as this one right over here, which, by the way, when someone told me that this was going for like 100 bucks on eBay, or was before this one came out, I was surprised. But then when I looked back at the review, it was from six years ago, so makes a whole lot more sense to me right now but yeah you can see huge color difference in the plastic and you can see another comparison right over here i do prefer this more metallic blue though i do like it more and i also like the larger logo right here you can see this one's a bit smaller i think the older images it was drawn larger so this could be you know like your classic 2099 spidey and this could be your more contemporary version then i gotta say i do have an issue with the amount of paint added to this upper torso it just seems like there's not enough red i want this to pop a lot more than it does and it looks like we get a lot of red right over here but not so much red right over there so that bothers me also uh, these armpit joints got a little stuck and you can see some of the paint coming off right over there so that's a little disappointing now looking at the side of the arms right over here it looks pretty clean this does look nice and smooth by the way so that's pretty dope i like the more translucent plastic right over here for the cape it's definitely a lot more opaque than this one so i do like this it looks a lot better uh, just to remove that you get the port right over there and you can see the body mold which you see before several times so yeah not a lot of new with that just to move this back right here you can see the paint apps moving in and you don't have any weird stuff when you bend that forward i'm going to talk about the articulation more in just a moment but yeah no paint added to the lower half of the figure at all so without going into a full articulation segment i just wanted to mention that there were some stiff parts over here uh, i mentioned the armpits already getting the ab crunch to move all the way forward oh man that was really, really tough, but yeah, you can see that'll happen. I recommend heating this up with a hair dryer. And then I did get these thigh cuts super stuck. So I had to heat these up with a hair dryer as well before I could get these to move. And to measure out this Spidey 2099 figure, you can see that it is still standing just a little over six inches tall. And I'm gonna keep the comparisons to an absolute minimum with this video, you guys. It's a repainted figure. But yeah, you can see it next to the Phil Yurik Hobgoblin Wave Spidey 2099 figure. I prefer this one over here. I'd like to know which one you prefer in the comment section below. 
below. And then here's the new Spidey 2099 next to the big time letdown Spider-Man. I'm not doing a stop motion segment right now. There are a ton of Marvel Legends figures I got to review. I got my Infinity War Captain America. I've had Tiger over here for a little bit. I just got my Sandman and my Hercules figures. I have the Holy Eternals wave and I am trying to get a hold of the Armadillo wave. And I still have the PulseCon MODOK and there are other figures that are not Marvel Legends that I do want to talk about on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button and if you're new here hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you know when my next video is coming up and a big thanks to all these people over here that support this content via the tron if you're interested check it out link in the description below and this figure is definitely not for me this is for people that missed out on the hobgoblin wave spidey 2099 figure and they really wanted it and hasbro went out of their way to sell another one because they knew it would be a whole lot cheaper than buying it on the secondhand market and i think that is very cool of them so yeah if you already have the Phil Yurik Hobgoblin Wave version, I'd recommend passing on this one. This is just not for us, you know what I mean? For real. But if you like the colors, I mean, yeah, go for it. Do what you want to do with your own money, man. But for me personally, at the price point of 25 bucks, I'm going to give this Spider-Man 2099 Vintage Collection version a sud rating of... Pass! Yeah, I don't really need it. I, I'm not going to sell it right now. I might sell it later. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, uh, for the most part, I don't really need the figure. But I want to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and the Street Humans updates over on Kickstarter. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Can you stop that sound? Hey, new Sharpen Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.